Hey, Ari Bixhorn here to give you a first look at the new release of IE we're shipping as part of the Windows 8 Developer Preview. With Windows 8, we're introducing a new touch-first browsing experience. With a touch-first browser, you begin your browsing experience in full screen to get an edge-to-edge -edge view of your websites. When I swipe my finger at the top or bottom of the screen, we see tabs at the top and the command bar at the bottom with touch-friendly nav controls and an on-screen keyboard. Within your site, you get touch-friendly panning as well as multi-touch zoom. All right, let's look at some of the other new features we're shipping with this release of IE. And we'll start off with a simple feature, but it's one I think a lot of you will be happy to see. In this release of IE, we're introducing built-in support for spell check. IE spell check uses the same great dictionary available in other Microsoft products like Office. It provides highlighting of misspellings, suggestions for correcting those misspellings. It also provides autocorrect for common misspellings. In fact, IE is the first browser to support autocorrect for misspellings. And it also gives you the ability to add words to the dictionary. All right, now let's look at some of the new CSS support in this release of IE. And we'll start off with Text Shadow. Text Shadow is a CSS3 property that allows you to add shadowing effects to text on a page. You can specify the horizontal and vertical offsets of the shadow. You can adjust the blur radius. You can change the color. And you can adjust the transparency. And you'll notice that as I'm adjusting the sliders on the right, the code on the left is automatically updating so that you can just copy and paste that directly into your solution. Now let's look at CSS 3D transforms. 3D transforms give you the ability to translate, scale, rotate, and skew elements in a 3D space. Here we can see the ability to rotate a div element around the y-axis. I can also translate it across the x, y, and z axes. and I can scale it across multiple axes. We've added support for a bunch of additional CSS functionality in this release, including transitions and animations as well. Another new area of the HTML5 spec that we've added support for in this release is App Cache. App Cache enables you to navigate sites even if you're offline. Now in this sample, App Cache is demonstrated through a simple children's book. On the initial page load, the book's assets are downloaded into the app cache, and I can interact with individual elements within the book. You'll notice the icon on the left here that shows that my slate is connected to the network, but even if I were to disconnect from the network, I'd still be able to interact with the book because its elements have been downloaded into that offline app cache. Finally, let's look at an example of touch support in this release of IE. In this example, we have a collection of particles that are being rendered on an HTML5 canvas, and those particles will react to the on-touch event. By default, if I touch the screen with my finger, it's going to create a gravity well that will attract the particles. If I touch the screen again with another finger, it'll create two gravity wells, setting off that on-touch event again, and the particles will migrate between them. Using the controls at the bottom of the screen, I can change the physics mode from gravity wells to magnetic repulsion. And again, we set off the on-touch event once, twice, and then multiple times, so that I end up with this great multi-touch experience. So in this release of IE, we're delivering an entirely reimagined browsing experience. In Windows 8, IE is a touch-first browser that makes browsing sites as rich and as fluid as working with your favorite app. For more information, check out ietestdrive.com.